Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the channel, Cooking with Chaz. Today I'm gonna make chicken stir fry and I'm putting my twist on it. So let me show you how to pull it all together. All right, we're gonna start with the sauce of this dish. You're gonna need rice wine vinegar, honey, lime juice, sesame oil, garlic, and some ginger. I have some salt here too. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna pull that in. Now onto the meat. The chicken, I'm using chicken thighs instead of chicken breasts because it's less prone to dry out in the cooking process. We have portobello mushrooms, broccoli florets, scallions, carrots, edamame, and bok choy. I wanna spend just a second to tell you about these if you're not familiar with them. The edamame is a immature soybean. It comes in a pot, you boil it for a couple of minutes, let it cool, pop it out, and there you have. This right here is bok choy. It's like a leafy green, something similar to uh, kale. Really a Chinese, or I should say Asian staple. All right, so, oh, I'm sorry, I missed the lo mein. Normally, you see it, the round noodles. I tried the flat this time, just because. So. We're gonna go ahead and get this noodle in this water that I already have boiling. So we're gonna just drop that in and it's gonna take four minutes. So while that's going, we're gonna make the sauce. Now it's a sauce that's not gonna be cooked much. So you wanna take this raw garlic and ginger and make a paste out of it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna dump all that on the cutting board and you need to take coarse kosher salt and sprinkle some on there. Not too much, because you want to be conscious of the salt that's already in your meal. And you're gonna take the blade of the knife and just scrape it. Literally, just scrape it into a paste. And you're not gonna get, you know, it completely flattened, but you get the idea. Scrape that up, and that's what we're looking for. And we're gonna pull that into the bowl. Now, we're gonna take our rice wine vinegar. Two tablespoons. Get our honey. And you know what? Just a trick to do next time. If you put your oil in your uh, spoon first, that honey would come right out. So I did that backwards, but you won't when you do it. And now we're gonna take the sesame oil, just a little bit of that. All right. And lime juice. Make sure you always roll your lime get it juicy and we're gonna take half of a lime and we need a whisk got my whisk oh and pepper I like to add just a sprinkle of pe pepper maybe one or two cracks and just whisk that up okay so we got that mixed up and you just put a little bit of saran wrap on there and set it aside to let that get delicious while we get everything else together. All right, wipe my hands. Check on my noodles. Oh, and while this is going, go ahead and get your eyes started for your chicken. We don't want to be waiting on that eye to heat up. We got about a minute left on the noodles. I'm gonna... All right, go ahead and get my olive oil in here. A little bit more, okay. And we're gonna dump that chicken in. And that's what you want to hear. All right, so that's gonna take about two to three minutes or however long it's gonna take to brown it. 
While that is getting started, I'm going to go drain these noodles. And what you're going to do is um, you're going to drain the noodles and then run cold water over them. This is different normally um, when you don't cut. We're going to cut that out. All right. Yeah. We'll just leave those there. Now I'm going to come back and... You want to turn this chicken, like I said. Put some brown on there. You see that? That looks pretty good. Yep. And right now, I'm on a pretty high heat. Because this entire process is going to take about 15 minutes. Maybe 20 at the moment. And that's a little bit of brown that I was talking about, perfect. And we're just gonna put this chicken in a bowl. We'll bring them back in a little bit. Oh, I got one overboard. It's all right. And just as a note, if you're a person that's um, leaning towards veggie, a vegetarian, you can do this entire meal. Just omit the chicken. All right, a little bit of oil. For our veggies, I'm gonna start with the broccoli first. And then we're gonna come on in with our mushrooms. Then just stir that, toss it around, make sure that everything has a little bit of oil if possible. And the goal is for us to get a little bit of color on the broccoli, should take about two minutes. And then we'll go to the next step. It's going to be really quick. Really quick. All right, those look so good. So good. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in those scallions. Get that bok choy in there. And you see, these are pretty thick stalks. Because the idea is, don't cook your food to death. You want a little bite to your food. And really what we're doing with the buck choy is you're uh, wilting it and getting a little bit of heat to those stalks. So, there you go. That was the first two minutes. And now, set it for three. Don't be afraid to use your timer. It's really your friend. It takes all the guesswork out. I do it all the time. It doesn't make you any less of a chef. All right, so now, time has gone off. We're going to add that edamame. Because you got to remember, the edamame is already cooked. We're literally just heating that through. And we're going to add in... Oh, look how great that looks. Look at the color in there, man. You can't make this up. You add the carrots in. Carrots, you're really not trying to cook. We want those crisp as well. And we're gonna add our chicken. I told you this dish is so fast. Fold that in. And if you were wondering, when we were going to add soy sauce, remember that the soy sauce was on the meat. All right, so I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to get our um, noodles. Everything looks so good, I almost forgot about our noodles. Toss that. 
Yep. Okay. Now we're gonna grab our sauce that we had over there marinating. Oh, that smells so good. And you just pour that in there. That easy. All right. And what I like to do is make a little pocket for your noodles, because remember they're cold. So we want to try to heat those up as fast as possible. There you go. And they will loosen up the little bit of clump that you might see. I don't want to put all those in there. I don't think it's necessary. You, you be the judge of that. I don't need that much carb. All right. And you see how that dropped the temperature in there? So we're gonna let this just all marry for about a minute or two. At this point, I'm gonna splash just a little bit of soy sauce to flavor those noodles. Not much, not much at all. Don't ruin your dish. And as far as the noodles, remember to follow the instructions on the package because if you ruin the noodles, you will ruin the dish. You want your noodles al dente. And at this point, we're gonna set that timer for two minutes and put a lid on there. And I'm gonna plate this in two minutes. All right, so I hope this looks as good as this smells over here. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe, share, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you liked about this video. Let me know what you might want to see in the future. Either way, I can't wait to see you next time.